Hi guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you my top 10 everyday perfumes within my collection. Now, this is quite a personal list, like you guys will see from the dents in my bottles that these are my everyday fragrances. What is an everyday scent for me at least? An everyday scent is something that doesn't feel too hard. It feels easy to wear. It almost feels like a part of your shower routine and an everyday scent needs to be appropriate for whatever you're doing within that day, whether it's staying at home, whether it's running errands, whether it's walking your dog, taking your child for a walk, whatever it is, an everyday scent needs to kind of fit the vibe for everything. I usually work from home, so I spend a lot of time in my apartment and these are the 10 fragrances that I wear the most. When I'm just chilling at home or if I have to go and get some groceries or I need to take my dogs out, these are the fragrances that I wear the most. They're easy, they're easy grab and go fragrances. They don't smell too strong, but yet they smell beautiful. I'm gonna start out with one of my favorite fresh citrusy fragrances. This is Chanel Chance Eau Fraiche. Now, this is honestly like my favorite fragrance from the Chance line. I think that this is absolutely beautiful and super underrated. Might I add, this is a super unisex fragrance. I know it's in the feminine bottle, it's in the feminine collection from Chanel, but for me, this is a unisex citrus fragrance that you can easily share with your partner. How does it smell? I adore this fragrance. So what you have is some nice, bright, juicy citruses mixed with a light, woody touch. So it is gorgeous, it is very versatile, very easy to wear. And also something that I really appreciate about this fragrance is that the longevity is fantastic for it being a citrus fragrance. For me, I get about six hours of wear with this scent and it does project within like your arm's length, but after the six hour mark, it's completely gone. If you guys were interested in a nice citrusy scent, I totally recommend this one. It's just really clean and fresh and makes me feel really good and positive. So I love this fragrance for every day. This actually sits in my bedroom. I have like a few fragrances that go in my bedroom and this is one of them. So yeah. Fun fact. So next up is the fragrance for the woman who wants to feel a little more sexy every day. This is Musk Noir Rose from Narcisa Rodriguez. And I apologize for speaking about this fragrance so frequently. It's just that I feel like this is such a great release. This is a beautiful, smooth, airy, floral, musky vanilla scent. You have tuberose and rose, which for me, I predominantly smell the tuberose in here, but not in a heavy way. I feel like tuberose, it can be such an overpowering note in some fragrances. In here, it's just adding to the sensuality of the scent. It's tuberose, it's vanilla, a lot of vanilla, and it's just covered in like this beautiful musky cloud. So the scent overall feels really airy and quite transparent, but it's there. Like people are gonna be able to smell you. And like I said, for me, this is like an everyday scent for that woman who is really in her sexy, feminine, sensual energy. This is the fragrance for you right here. So Mas Noir Rose from Narcisa Rodriguez. As you guys can get a little bit there. As you guys can see from the bottle, I love this one. I love to wear this fragrance. I think it's very sexy and very easy at the same time. So fantastic fragrance. There was a little hair right in my face. Okay, so. Next up, we have Moonlight in Heaven from Killian. I don't know if you can see my bottle. I don't know if it's showing up right now, but I am almost out of this fragrance. And the problem is that I love the scent. It is incredibly beautiful, this fragrance. Like the scent itself is magnificent. The problem is the longevity. And for the price, I will not repurchase this fragrance. I think that there is so many better fragrances on the market that actually are worth the price, which does make me really heartbroken because I love this fragrance so much, like the scent is just magnificent, you guys. You have to go and smell this one. It's so fresh and calming and smooth and creamy. But like I said, the longevity on my skin is like, like one to three hours, absolutely tops, 
tops, tops, tops. Myself, I get about one hour of wear and then I literally cannot even smell it anymore. So for me, like I said, when I do run out of this fragrance, I won't repurchase it because I cannot justify spending that much money on a fragrance if it's going to last one hour, especially Killian is super pricey. I will not repurchase it. But like I said, this is such a beautiful scent. You have mango and coconut and this kind of green tea vibe. Like there is definitely this smooth green note in there. It's very creamy. It's bright. It has a little bit of a citrusiness. It's just so perfectly balanced and so refreshing. But I hate that the longevity is so bad on this scent. If they could just recreate this fragrance and make it long lasting, I would be so grateful. But I don't think they're going to. Moonlight in Heaven from Killian. The scent is beautiful and I would really recommend you guys just to go and smell it to see what it smells like because it makes me feel peaceful. Like when I wear this fragrance, I feel clean and calm. Like I've just come out of like a beautiful spa day and I've had all of the treatments and I'm clean and I walk out and I'm wearing like Moonlight in Heaven. It just feels beautiful, but I cannot justify the price and the longevity, it just, that's not a vibe for me. Next up, we have a Christian Dior. And no, it is not Gris Dior. Even though I 100% recommend Gris Dior as a fragrance, I think it is just perfection. A super beautiful, modern, cheaper fragrance. I talk about it too much, so I wanted to switch it up and show you guys another everyday scent from the private collection from Dior that I personally wear all the time. It is La Colle Noire. Now, you guys can see I wear this one a lot and I love it. Like, I absolutely love this scent, but it's nothing groundbreaking. I really feel like I'm shitting on the fragrances that are in this list and I feel bad, but I'm being transparent with you guys. These are the fragrances that I wear like day to day, every day when I'm at home. These are the scents, but they have their downfalls, if you know what I mean. So La Colle Noir is so beautiful, but it's definitely not a groundbreaking DNA. This is just a gorgeous, like airy, watery, ethereal rose fragrance. And it's stunning. Like this, whenever I smell this fragrance, I just picture, I know it's a little bit of a stereotype, but I picture like this very blonde woman that has perfectly curled hairs. Hairs? <laughs> She has perfectly curled hair, like just the right amount of curl, you know? She's wearing either beige with like maybe a touch of pink because she's a girly girl. And she has her life together, everything is clean. Like that's the sort of woman that I picture. She always wears Lululemon as well. And I just envision like this really beautiful woman with her life together when I smell this fragrance. Like I said, it is not groundbreaking, but it truly is a gorgeous fragrance. A beautiful, ethereal and transparent watery rose fragrance. I wear this fragrance when I want to feel fresh, put together and very feminine. That's when I wear La Colle Noire. And it just, again, it's another fragrance that just makes me smile when I wear it because it's not heavy. It's not annoying to me. It just smells beautiful and very feminine. So I love Le Colle Noir. I absolutely love it. The other like everyday scent that I really love from the private collection from Dior is Jasmine d'Ange. Jasmine d'Ange, I think it's called. I love that fragrance. I actually had the hand soap and the hand soap is so nice of that scent. It is beautiful. I also had the Le Colle Noir hand soap. Honestly, guys, I really recommend the Dior hand soaps. They are really beautiful fragrances. We're going to go to Musk Therapy from Inicio. Again, I'm being transparent. These are what I wear. Musk Therapy, you guys know how this one smells. I talk about this scent all the time. Like, I'm sure you guys are getting sick of it. This is just such a beautiful, warm citrus scent with a little bit of like a warm fruity touch and a lot of sandalwood and musks. And this is just gorgeous. And I always come back to the same story about this scent because I find it to be, I love stories like this. When I first smelled this fragrance, I was like, what? Like, okay, great, great release. Fantastic. Thank you, Inicio. Move on to the vanillas and the sexier stuff. Because for me, Inicio represents like sex and um, aphrodisiac and like very femme fatale vibes. So when this launched, I was like really unimpressed. And then I started to wear it once and then twice and then three times and then four times. And I just got hooked on this scent, hooked. When I tell you guys I got hooked, I really mean it. And 
truly this is my most worn fragrance from Inicio my most worn fragrance from Inicio I don't know what it is about this fragrance but I'm addicted to it for like everyday use I find it to be the perfect everyday fragrance it's musky it's creamy it's smooth it's fresh it's a little bit citrusy but not too much and it's just beautiful. A big compliment getter as well. Whenever I wear this, Pierre always gives me a compliment. He loves this scent and other people in my life as well compliment me. And the good thing about Moss Therapy is it actually does have decent longevity. On my skin, I get about six hours of really good wear with a nice arm's length projection. So it is going to last, it is going to project, it is going to get you compliments and it just smells fantastic for every day. So this fragrance, definitely recommend it. And if you guys follow me on TikTok, I sometimes show you guys my scent of the days and my layering combos. This is my favorite layering combo because they just complement each other beautifully. They're both very creamy scents, very smooth and fresh at the same time. So together they work Work really well. Um, I also layer Moss Therapy with Passessoire from BDK. I sometimes layer it with the Chanel Chance Eau Fresh. That's also a really nice combo. I layer it with a lot of different things. If you're interested in layering, just try and test out things within your collection. But those are a few of my recommendations. Jo Malone, Wood Sage and Sea Salt. Let's talk about this bad boy right here. I love the scent. I think I've spoken about it before. I love this scent. It's one of my favorite smells ever because it just has something addictive about it. I don't know what it is. I'm assuming it's the amberette because it has a sweet muskiness under there. And there is something fresh, but not citrusy. It's not citrusy at all. It's fresh. There is a little bit of thyme, a little bit of a salty vibe, and a little bit of something sweet and musky. It is just incredible, this scent. But the longevity is absolutely tragic. Like 30 minutes, ciao, it's gone, never to be seen again. I did have to put it in the list because I wear this one all the time, especially when I'm going to the gym. I love to wear it when I'm going for a walk. I love to wear it when I'm doing something physical, I realized just now as I'm talking. Yeah, or if I'm doing like Pilates or something, I love to wear Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt because it doesn't bother my senses. Like it's not a citrus that's gonna be kind of fluffing in my face all the time. It's very calming, it's very relaxing. It kind of just blends with your skin. So I just realized that in my mind. Maybe that's why I like to wear it for the gym and walking and Pilates because it's very smooth and it doesn't bother my senses. So I love this fragrance, but the longevity is terrible. And if I run out, I don't think I will repurchase because I have found something that smells similar with a way better longevity. <laughs> Finally, I have found a fragrance. I didn't even look for it, by the way, guys. I got this fragrance at Exxon's. I was there two weeks ago. This fragrance is from Pantheon Roma and it is called Notte di Amore. I think it's pronounced in Italian, which I guess means night of love, which is very strange because for me, this is not a nighttime fragrance at all. This is like a daytime casual scent. But I have to tell you guys, when I smelled it, I was like, oh yes, like, yes, yes, yes. I just had a look at the notes and they shocked me because that is not what I smell at all. It says that there is oud, vetiver, and citruses in here. Oud where? There is no oud in here, you guys. If you want a more enhanced version of Wood Sage and Sea Salt, try this fragrance from Pantheon Roma. This is beautiful. It's so fresh, kind of musky, a little bit woody underneath. It's just beautiful. If you like Balda Freak from Byredo, Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt, these kind of woody fresh scents, you're going to love this fragrance. Now, don't worry, it does not smell like oud. I don't know the, why it says that there is oud in here because it doesn't smell like it. This is a beautiful fresh fragrance that does have a vibe of Wood Sage and Sea Salt. This is a fantastic fragrance for day to day. It's very fresh, but it does last on the skin. I have been wearing it for the past week and it lasts on my skin about six hours with a minimal projection, but it smells great. Like this is the sort of fragrance that 
I like to grab and wear every single day. So I'm very happy to own this one. It kind of, I feel like when I run out of Wood Sage and Seesaw, I'm going to replace it with this fragrance. Again, not because they smell exactly the same, but if you like Wood Sage and Seesaw, I think you will like this one. So Notte di Amore from Pantheon Roma, fantastic fresh fragrance that I'm very happy to own. Apollonia from Zerzhoff. I have been wanting this fragrance for ages. Look at the bottle, it is so magnificent. I cannot get over it. Now, this fragrance within this list is very unique. It does not smell like anything that I have in this list. And in fact, it doesn't really smell like anything that I own in my collection, which is really nice. <laughs> Apollonia from Zerzhov. I'm gonna give her a little spritz. Wow. <laughs> Wow, wow, you guys, wow. This is the epitome, the epitome of understated elegance. This fragrance is the sort of scent that I would imagine to smell on somebody that's like a billionaire woman, like the wife of a billionaire maybe. This is the type of fragrance that I would imagine to smell on them. This is so subtle yet so complex and so beautiful. What you have in here is iris, musk and white flowers. I get this really smooth and creamy musky fragrance with something a little bit dark underneath. I'm not sure what it is that is dark, but there is something there. It is just pure perfection as far as a musk fragrance goes, as far as like a floral, smooth musky scent. This is a dream, you guys. I have been wearing Apollonia so much recently because it's just such a beautiful everyday scent that smells really refined and really luxurious, but it's soft and it's peaceful and it's beautiful. And I am just totally mesmerized by this scent. It's very simple, so do not expect it to smell like 99% of the Zerzhov fragrances like La Capitale and Ivory Root, etc. This is a very simple but complex fragrance at the same time. Next up, we have Fleur Narcotique Extrait de Parfum. How is my French? <laughs> now, this fragrance, I adore you guys. I adore this scent. I think it smells... This is spectacular. You have some brightness on top. You have some light white florals, like you feel this kind of peony, lily of the valley, like very ethereal floral notes. And then it has a beautiful musky, soft woody dry down and it's just gorgeous. But what I get overall is this very fresh, musky floral. That is what this fragrance is and it's probably the best fresh musky floral that I have ever tried. And I mean it when I say that, you guys, I'm not exaggerating. When you smell this scent, you will be mesmerized by it. The problem again, the problem again here is the longevity. On my skin, it doesn't really last very long. I get like three hours of good wear and then I really cannot smell it at all. So for me, um, it's another one that if I run out, I would not repurchase it because I love the scent, but I'm sure I can find an alternative with my collection. This is truly a beautiful floral fragrance, but like I said, the longevity is what lets it down, unfortunately. But if you guys are interested, try this fragrance. It sucks as well because it's super expensive, but at least go and give it a sniff so that you can understand my love for the scent. Finally, we have one of my favorite go-to everyday fragrances. This is Bottega Veneta Illusion. As you guys can see, it is completely gone. Um, I feel so weird making this video because every single fragrance that I'm talking about, almost all of them have a downside. And I really do apologize for that, but I did want to make this list true to what I wear. So just keep that in mind, guys. I am sorry because I am going to tell you that the longevity is so bad on this one as well. But you can see from the bottle, it doesn't stop me from wearing it because in terms of a scent, wow, <laughs> this fragrance, this fragrance is so beautiful. Like the scent, you guys, it reminds me again of like, I don't know, like a beautiful like spa day, Maybe you're outside, you're in nature, you've just had like, I don't know, I haven't even been to a spa before, which is crazy, but I have not. Like I've never had like 
Actually, that's a lie. We did a spa last year in the Maldives, but I haven't gone on like a spa day or anything like that before. I've never even had a facial. Like I've never had my skin treated for a facial and I think I'm doing pretty well. But anyways, Bottega Veneta Illusion for her. This is gorgeous. You have fig leaf, you have black currant, you have tonka bean and you have orange blossom and musks. And wow, the combo of all of those notes, I don't know how, but it freaking works. This is like a warm comforting fresh slightly sweet musky scent and it's just beautiful and this is a fragrance that i'm going to repurchase i will purchase the bigger bottle because even though the longevity stinks I am still going to wear the scent because I adore this fragrance. It actually sits in my bathroom, hence why it's so dusty. I don't know why my bathroom collects dust so much, but I am going to repurchase this one because I cannot live without this scent. This is like my go-to out of the shower, like ch -ch, out of the shower or in the morning when I have to wake up super groggy and take my dogs for a walk. I spray on this fragrance and it kind of lifts me up and makes me more awake. So yes, Bottega Veneta illusion for her. Why? Why is the longevity so bad? Because you guys can literally see I'm out. This is a 50 ml, so you know, you go through it a bit quicker, but oh guys, this is so gorgeous. That is it, you guys. That is my top 10 most used everyday fragrances. Um, I think that that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Oh, and also like vibrato and stuff, but vibrato, I wear it more to like go out. Like if I'm going to the mall or if I'm going, if I want people to notice my fragrance, these are more for like me, you know, like these fragrances, I don't wear for anyone else. I literally wear them because I like the way that they smell and how they make me feel day to day. Vibrato, I wear because I know it's gonna get compliments. I know it's gonna last a long time on my skin and I don't need that when I'm at home. Like I just want something that makes me feel good, feel fresh, feel clean and feel happy. And these fragrances really do that for me. Now that that rant is over, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching the video. I have to go feed my little dogs and I will see you guys really soon. Bye-bye.